Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to make a search filter to filter through your models in Ruby on Rails 7. So we're just gonna add a form where we can search through these models and it will filter the models accordingly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head to my gem file. So you can either search up gem file or you can just go to the gem file and we need to add a gem and it's called ransack. So add this gem, so gem ransack save that file, save the gem file, then stop the server if you have it running and run a bundle install. So run bundle install. So now that we have ransack installed, we'll go to the controllers and we'll go to resources controller and we'll just add some code. So it's just, so I'm just going to copy and paste this code and it's at Q is equal to person dot ransack params Q or at people is equal to Q dot result. So what this means, we're going to create a form and form is going to pass the param of Q and then we're going to filter the resources by the param of Q. So I'm going to change this to resource. You should change it to your model and then I'm going to change at people to at resources. Change this to your model as well. Save that. And if we refresh, nothing is going to happen. We actually have to start the server again. So run a Rails S, Rails server to start the server. And then what we're gonna do is go to our resources index.html. This is where you want the form to show up. And we're just gonna copy and paste the form. So go to this. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna create that. And we're just not gonna have to get rid of some. So like that. So search form four which is a ransack custom form at Q do. So it's basically saying for the query variable, we should match it. We should match the query variable against the title. And if we refresh and we search up the and search, we can see that it is working and it only shows resources that has the title and matches the title of Q or the. So I'll just test this again. Uh, nothing shows up and hello okay and so it's working so thank you for watching check out my other rails tutorials and i'll see you in the next one thanks bye